I'm Maureen Brown and I'm from New York City. I'm a, a vocal coach. I have a lot of students that are um, training to go into top schools for um, singing, acting. You know, I'm, I'm very active. I've always been a, a, a ballet dancer, tap jazz, you know, ever since I was a little girl. I was first diagnosed with fibroids in 2005. I had my first surgery then. Um, and at that time, I was already in my mid-30s. So the doctors, of course, you know, being the trained doctors that they are, you know, began sounding the alarm. And I had surgery for them to be removed. Um, and then, you know, every year, every yearly um, exam, you know, fibroids, fibroids, irregular menstrual cycles. I mean, honestly, honestly, those are the two words. What are you going to do about it when well, you're not, you know, well, you're getting up there? Um, 2013, I really began to feel a tremendous amount of pain when exercising. I mean, you could really feel it in my lower abdominal area. Um, you could feel it, but you could also see it. So, you know, with the Copelands, I really began to understand the healing, the words, the faith, but I began just to be steadfast in, you know, in, in healing scriptures, but, but I could feel them. I mean, they were there. I wouldn't be telling the truth if I didn't say that it was daunting when you're, when you're speaking faith, and but you're feeling it. Um, but one of the things for me is that I, I had to be quiet about it. I just, I just remained steadfast in, in praying over them, using the Lord's word for healing. In 2013, Maureen Brown had the second surgery to remove the fibroid tumors. She continued in the Word and attended the Believers' Conventions in Washington, D.C. for the next four years. Though the tumors did eventually return, Maureen continued to take hold of her healing. In 2017, she received clear direction from the Lord to attend the Southwest Believers' Convention. On Friday evening, in prayer, Maureen heard very specific instructions regarding the Saturday morning healing school service. All I heard was you have to be in the front row. It was that you have to be in the front row. And so the night before I got up, I mean, I think I was on line by 2.50, 3 o'clock. I was in the front row. I just felt so humbled watching everyone and, and still knowing that, you know, m my healing is somewhere at hand. Fibroid tumors are leaving right now, fibroids. Abdominal area, there's been such pain there. Irregular menstrual cycles are being healed right now. That's me. <laughs> you know, I shouted and then he said it again and then he looked right at me and he said, the power, the power's on this woman, bring her to me. Just fibroids? Yes. How long you had these? Yes. How long? 2005, I had surgery. Take 2013, him back. and next week, they, I have to go in for fibroids. And the doctors can you are feel panicking. Them? I can't when I exercise, absolutely. You can feel them? I can't. Right now? Yes. It's interesting when Brother Copeland talks about what's in your heart, because I was so in the so used to saying, I feel them, I feel them. That's what I kept saying. You see what you wrote, what's really, what's really in your spirit. Um, and then he said, are you sure? And I just stopped talking, and I started feeling, and I'm telling you. You can feel them? Yes. And they're still there? Yes. Are you sure? I'm positive. Check them. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. What? Flat. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody praise him. I've been a partner with the Copelands. Of course, uh huh. Since 2008. And I just, I pressed through. And I'm not, I do Miss Gloria's healing, and I came here for my five boys to heal. It's done. I'm not, it's done in the name of Jesus. Everything just came together in a kingdom way on August 5th. With, with, the, with the scriptures, with Sister Gloria saying for years that I've been watching, you have to take it. You have to take it. Brother Copeland saying, you know, not being embarrassed to understand the power that you have. And, and Billy Burke speaking over me. Went to the doctors. My one GYN called and said, normal. We don't see anything happening. We've done the test. I don't see anything. But I understand I'm not going to be moved by what I see and by what I feel. I really really understood that day. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you, Jesus, I'm healed. And that's, that's it. I'm not playing around. I'm with prophets, 
the Copelands are their prophets and they're teaching me how to live, live a kingdom life on earth. And, and what they are doing and what they do absolutely transforms my life as a woman, as a kingdom daughter, financially, morally, ethically, politically. And I said, you know, God, I can't, I can't be ashamed. I'm gonna take this healing and I thank God I'm healed and Jesus is Lord.